Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to uh, Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday. Uh, so we are here right now um, looking at uh, a tier list. So I've played a lot of Jackbox games in my day. I've played definitely a lot of them. And, you know, I've played uh, with my friends, you know, had fun with it. And I've never actually, uh, you know, ranked any of them. So that's what we're going to do right here, right now. So I got a tier list up, go from S to F, um, and then games, you know, I'm not feeling too particularly fond of. And then the garbage bin. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go through each and every one of them, and we're gonna I'm gonna rank them uh, based on my opinion of them. Um, we got some free music in the background, all feeling nice and dandy. So, starting strong with Bidiates. Um, you can't really see the the full thing; they're squares, just whatever. Um, so, uh, Bidiates. This one's all right. Um, don't play it a lot. You don't play a lot of older Jackbox uh, games. Um, so this one's fine. Um, I'd put it in C, honestly. Maybe D. I don't know. It's not, like, bad. I just don't do it a lot, right? Uh, so, anyway, then we got Blather Round. And that Blather Round is fantastic. Love Blather Round. Um, God, which one was that again? Blather Round. That was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the, the one where you're guessing, like, the movie or whatever. This one's great. I love Blather Round. Um, it's good. Uh, I definitely played a lot with my friends. You can play a lot of the more modern uh, games and less of the, the older ones. Um, but Bidiots is fine. It's just, uh, it's kind of, kind of jank. Um, Blatherround is fucking fantastic. Love it. Not the best out there, but it's definitely good. Uh, so we're going to take a look at, uh, to Bomb Corp down here. Now, Bomb Corp, um, I've never actually finished before. Uh, so it's a multiplayer sort of, uh, keep talking, nobody explodes, basically. But, like, four player instead of two. Um, it's all right, man. It's, it's fine. It's just, I don't know. Never, never really finished it. Can't really, uh, talk about it. Uh, Bracketeering is the next one. That's what, that's what this one is. Bracketeering. All the images are jank, and I hate it. Um, I made these images, so it's my fault. <laughs> so Bracketeering um, would be good. It would be fine if you didn't need a specific amount of people in order for it to function. Like, it has up to 16, which is fine. You know, that's, that's a great amount. Good game has a lot of people in it. But you need a specifically even number, or it just sucks. And I've never been able to get it to work properly. And in that particular, for that particular reason, uh, bracketeering is just not good for me. We don't play it. It's just not, it's, it's not good. You know, it's not, we don't do it enough. And it's fine as far as the game goes. Functionally, it works. It's just, I don't know. It requires more than you get. So then we got Champed Up. Champed Up is fantastic. I love Champed Up. Putting it in A immediately. Um, because you draw, it's like a, a fighting game, which is really cool. Um, and you're like, you're pitting up drawings against each other. It's really fun. Really love that one. Love it. Uh, then you got Civic Doodle. Now, Civic Doodle is great. I love drawing games. Drawing games are fun. There's different kinds of games. There's drawing, there's word, there's whatever. Civic Doodle would be good. Civic Doodle would be fantastic if they didn't have the mayor in it. The mayor voice is so bad. I hate the mayor voice. It's the absolute worst. But anyway, yeah, so you got Civic Doodle, you got you got it in F. It would be a C. It would be a solid C if it weren't for the fucking mayor. Uh, Devil in Details is fantastic. I love this one. I'm going to say that about a lot of them. Uh, Devil in the Details is great. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of good friends who like it as much as I do. Uh, so I don't get to play it a lot more than uh, enough that I, as much as I want. Uh, so unfortunately, it goes in the C. It would be an A. It definitely would be an A. It just, it isn't... One that we play a lot of, which is really unfortunate. I love it. Dictionarium. Again, it, it would be great if my friends enjoyed it. I love Dictionarium. It's so good. Um, I love it more than Devil in the Details, though. Like, each Jackbox has, like, its trivia game, its drawing game, its word game, and then it's, like, kooky game. And somewhere, some one of the other ones is somewhere in between. Um, Dictionarium is the word game of, I believe, six. So, you got that one. And B, love Dictionarium. Great game, I enjoy it a lot, uh, and it's just it's just fine. It's fun. It's great. Uh, so you don't know Jack. Uh, you don't know Jack the uh, 2015 version. You don't know Jack is fantastic title. It's all right. You know it's good. Um, I remember playing like the original back in I don't know so long ago, like uh, early 2000s. It was it was fine, right? Um, do you know Jack 2015 is a reinvention of the, uh, classic series that Jackbox is based on? Um, which, you know, respect, mad respect for the original Jackbox, uh, or original, uh, you don't know Jack game. Good trivia game, I enjoy it. 
B2. Uh, you don't know Jack, uh, full stream. Um, it's just basically you don't know Jack 2015, but for streamers. And I don't stream, so I'm going to put that in C. Just because it's basically the same game, but, you know, not as good. Uh, now, Drawful Anime. I'm going to do draw normal Drawful first. Normal Drawful is a, a fun game. It's great. I love it. It's good. It's enjoyable. B. Uh, Drawful Animate is like Drawful, but not as good. Because they thought that adding a second frame would make it better. Um, it doesn't. Adding a second frame is cool and all, but I like the versatility of the first one way more. So I'm going to put that in C. It's definitely a C tier game. It's, it's, it's mid. You know, it's good. Not as good as it could be, but whatever. Uh, and then you got Earwax, which I don't even remember this one. I think it sucks. I don't know. I just don't know. Faking it? Love this game to death. It requires being in person, though, which is the only draw, uh, uh, downfall of, uh, of faking it. Um, it would be great otherwise. It's just not uh, an online game. And I play Jackbox primarily online with my friends over Discord. You know, we, we play Jackbox and it's a great fun time. They don't need to own it. I own all of them. That's why, I play, that's why I'm in all these games. But it's just not, uh, you know, something that I do a lot of. So I'm going to say faking it. Unfortunately, it's an F. Not because it's bad, but because we don't play it. We never get to play it. Functionally, you can't. Not properly, anyway. So then you got uh, Fibbage. Now, I'm going to start with Fibbage 1 here. So Fibbage XL. Fibbage is a great game. It's an all right game. Um, I feel like the first one is eh, kind of blah, you know. It's all right. Don't get me wrong. It's fine. It's just not as good, right? Uh, so then you got Fibbage 2. Now, Fibbage 2 definitely built on the formula of the original Fibbage. Uh, now, I don't play it a lot, man, you. It's great. It's just not as great as it could be. Uh, Fibbage 3, I think, is the best of the bunch. Uh, Fibbage 3 is fantastic, and it's the one we end up doing a lot more. Now, that is a uh, newer game bias, but it's not... Eh, you know, it's alright, it's alright. Uh, Fibbage 4, I believe, is not as good as Fibbage 3. I haven't played it as much, obviously. It's 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 part of Jackbox 9. Um, but, you know, it, it's... I think Fibbage 3 is is the better of the, of the options. Uh, and then you got Gespionage. Now, Gespionage is uh, fun. Um, <laughs> all these are fun for the most part. Gespionage is great. Um, if you have... It's it's too short is the biggest problem with Gespionage. It, I feel like if it had maybe two or three more rounds in it, it would be a lot better. But you just go through everyone once. And it's you go through everyone and it's like quick, you know? It's, I don't know. It's, it, it's all right. It, it's definitely like a C tier game. I, I would play that. Uh, Job Job is my first S tier game because I fucking love Job Job. It's my favorite of the Jackbox games. Well, that's, you know, being super uh, superfluous there, but like, it's so good. I love Job Job. Job Job is fantastic, okay? You want to talk to me about Job Job? I'll talk to you about Job Job all day. I love Job Job. <laughs> Dude, it's it's so good, man. It's so good. Anyway, so then you got Joke Boat. Now, Joke Boat is. It's, it's good, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying eh as in like F. I'm saying eh as in I don't know. It's all right. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna slap that into uh, into B tier here. Joke Boat is a good one if you want to just mellow out. Um, but it's not like, it's not awesome, right? Uh, Junktopia, I haven't played a lot of. I haven't played a, enough of, rather. Um, but I feel like it's an all right one. I feel, like, I feel like it's a solid C, you know? Lyswater sucks. <laughs> Now, uh, don't get me wrong. Um, it, I think it's in the first one, actually. Don't get me wrong. It's all right. Um, it's just not... <laughs> it's not up there, you know? All right, so this is the first game I think that they like they were exper They were definitely experimenting. Lysewater is like a 1 to 100 kind of game. I don't know how it works properly. Um, but essentially, it's like a, a this or a that. And it's like a... It's, it's, it's very simple. It's too simple. It's not good. It's definitely not good for that reason. Madverse City, another S tier for me. I fucking love rapping robots. Rapping robots are my jam. I love doing the verses. They're so good. Uh, Monster Seeking Monster, I think is a fantastic game. Um, again, not a lot of people like it. Not a lot, uh, not enough people like it, rather. Um, and Monster Seeking Monster is a it's a fun game, but not a lot of you know, not even just not a lot of people like it. But like, I don't know. It's just eh. it's it's a great concept. I just think it was a little rough around the edges. Could have done better. 
Uh, non-sensory is... I don't even know about this one yet. I haven't played all the new ones uh, yet. I haven't played the new ones enough yet, you know? Anyways, I'm going to put non-sensory into... Uh... I, I actually... I'm going to put that one in the I don't know category. I just don't know yet. It's, it's too new. Uh, you haven't played enough. I, I will get to it when I get to it. Uh, Patently Stupid S, obviously. <laughs> Patently Stupid is one of my favorite games of all time, actually. Like, Jackbox notwithstanding, it's one of my favorite games. Because it's like, it combines like, you know, being creative and presenting and a lot of the speaking aspects. I love a lot of speaking aspects in, in Jackbox games. Uh, if you get to present a thing, then that's fantastic. Uh, I love the uh, present presentation games. Because they're just, they're so good. They're so fun. Um, Pole Mine is great if you are a streamer. <laughs> it's not as good if you're not a streamer, uh, which is fine and all, but it's not, it, it's just not for me, right? Um, so I'm going to put Pole Mine into C. It's a solid C game. It's, it's all right. Um, it's just not, you know... It's, eh, it's kind of blah if uh, if you don't got a group. You know, I'm going to put it in B. B tier is all right. Uh, push the button is basically Among Us, but worse. I wish it were better. I really, really did. I w I'm going to put it in D, but, like, I really wish Push the Button were better. It's a fantastic concept. I just think Among Us is better in every way, and it's basically that. And it's unfortunate that I got to compare them. I really don't want to, but it's just, I don't know. Anyway, now we got to the Quiplashes. Quiplash is some of, my, some of the most fun I ever have in these kinds of games. Uh, Quiplash 1 is, I think, the best game in Jackbox 1. Um, unless uh, Truffle is also known. But, you know, Quiplash uh, XL, I guess it's called. The first Quiplash in the Jackbox titles. Um, it's alright. It's not as good. It's, it's, it's quality. It's quality. It's good. Um, and then you get Quiplash 2. Now, Quiplash 2 would be an S, if not for the fact that it's fairly simple overall. I love Quiplash 2. It's so good. Uh, and then you get Quiplash 3. And Quiplash 3 is not as good as 2, to be honest with you. I'm going to put it in, in B here. Because it's just it's just not good. It's just not as good um, as 2. Because 2, you get, like, uh, you get uh, Acrolash. And you get, like, uh, the one where you do the comic strip. And there's a lot of variety. But Quiplash 3 only has the one final round type. And it's not... I don't know. I wish they would do more of it. I wish they didn't simplify it, right? Uh, Quicksort is rapidly has become my favorite trivia game of the Jackbox titles. It's the best. Quicksort is so much fun. Um, because it's it's not just about knowing something. It's about knowing something and then knowing it that's something in relation to the other things. I love Quicksort. It's so good. Role models is, uh, hmm, what to say about role models? Role models is an, a good game. It's, it's good, don't get me wrong. It's just not one I want to play. Um, it has the problem of being uh, overplayed. Uh, 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 let's say that. It has the problem of being overplayed. Overplayed, uh, I'm actually going to move Blather around to, to A here. Um... Role Models has been played so many times. I got Jackbox 6 is when I got, like, all of them and then the earlier ones. Um, when Jackbox 6 came around is when I started playing with everyone. And everyone wanted to play the new one, right? Because it's the new one. It has all the new games and stuff. And Role Models was one of the ones that got played to death for me. So it's, it's a fantastic game. I just hate it because everyone plays it all the time. And there's a few in this list that's still left that are like that. Uh, Rumorang, I'm rapidly falling in love with. I really like Rumorang. It's like a sort of role-playing uh, kind of game. Um, and it's like Big Brother, of course. It's just, it's it's fun. It's just solid, you know, around the board fun. It's a little long. It drags slightly, but not too bad. And the fact that, you know, you come back and you, it like changes your name and you have a new identity. I love, I love Rumorang for that reason. It's so much fun. Uh, Split the Room... Masterclass in in its in its field. It Matt Split the Room is possibly like objectively the best Jackbox game of them all. Um, and I like Split the Room a lot. I do. I really do. Uh, it's not my favorite. Um, like Quicksword is becoming my favorite. All these are are um, 
you know what? I'm gonna keep job job. It's, it's not as good as the rest, but it's good. It's great. It's good. Split the room though is like the best constructed, best presented, just the best of the Jackbox games. There is no question. I would put it in its own category above S if I remembered to do that. Survive the Internet, solid S. Solid S across the board. I love Survive the Internet. Uh, talking points would be fantastic if more people played it. Um, not enough people play it, but I love it all the same. Talking points is a great game because it's another, it's another one of those presenting games. I love the presenting games. Oh, all right. So now we get to TKO. And now I have no problem with TKO. It's a great game. Love it. It's not as good as it could be. It's It has the opposite problem of, uh, uh, where was it? Of uh, Gespionage. It has the opposite problem of Gespionage, where it's like, it's the simple game, but it's too long, you know? You do like three rounds, I think, and like each round is like its own sort of thing. And I don't know, TKO is a, is a great game. I'll always love it. I will always love TKO. Place in my heart, but it's just not that good. Okay, so now we get to the controversial uh, picks. Trivia Murder Party and Trivia Murder Party 2. Uh, to clarify, Trivia Murder Party 2 is better than the first one. Trivia Murder Party 2 is the game I cannot escape for the life of me. I want to stop playing Murder Trivia Party every time. Every day I want to stop playing Trivia Murder Party. But everyone I always play with all the time always wants to play Trivia Murder Party. And I have to do everything in my power to escape it. Um, I cannot, in good conscience, put these anywhere but F because I cannot play any more of that game. I just can't. It's just not good. It's good. It's, it's quality. But, oh, I just want to escape it. I just want it to stop. I want it to stop being near me. Please get away from me forever. Oh, <sighs> okay. <laughs> now that I've had my breakdown, let's go to Weapons Drawn. Weapons Drawn is a game I think is criminally underrated. Um, people uh, say they don't like it, and they're just like, oh, it's blah, and it's not good, and whatever. I think it's fine. I think it's a great game. Uh, it's just we don't play it enough, you know? It's just not... It's kind of, you know? I think it's a solid C game. I think I would play it... I, I would be a higher one if it were a game that more people played, but they just don't. They just don't want to play Weapons Drawn, which is a real shame because I enjoy it. The Wheel of Enormous Proportions is, uh, behind Quicksort, my favorite trivia game. I'm actually going to put it in A for that reason. Um, because it's just fun. It's just good old-fashioned fun. Um, unfortunately, everyone shits on it because it's a little confusing. Uh, but they just don't know what they're talking about. The Wheel of Enormous Proportions is great. And you get, like, a, like a, a Magic 8-Ball question thing, which is a lot of fun. I love that. Um, Word Spud is... I actually don't even remember this one. You know what? I'm going to put that in I don't know. I don't remember doing word spud, believe it or not. What the fuck? Get away from me. I'm doing a thing right now. Anyway, then, uh, so that's the entire uh, tier list. Um, so, yeah, this is this is all the Jackbox games I like, you know, uh, for various reasons. I explained them as I went. Um, I talked a little fast, and I'm sorry about that. I, I figured we would go on for a while. There's like nine times five is 45. It's tired. I'm tired. You can see the uh, you can see the time down here. It's late for me. Uh, but yeah, I know these are all the uh, the good games, all the bad games, all the games I like, all the games I don't, and the various reasons uh, why each one is good or bad, or I like it or don't. Um, some of them are good and I and I don't like them, like Mirror Trivia Party. Some of them are bad and I love them, like uh, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> Um, objectively bad and I just enjoy it, I think would fall under, uh, Drawful. I think it might be just functionally bad. I just love it anyway. I don't actually know. The older games are objectively, like, quality-wise worse than the newer games. But that's just, that's just how it goes. Uh, but yeah, no, here you go. Here's, here's your tier list for all the Jackbox games and hope you enjoyed, uh, my video. Um, happy Tuesday, happy hunting, and I uh, love each and every one of you. Have yourself a delightful day. I'm just going to go back to my camera. I love you all. Goodbye.